duidelijk was, maar wat in de loop der tijd uh, veel en veel sterker geworden is, is dat het idee van tijd, ja, dat het werkelijk alles, elk ding is eigenlijk van tijd doordrongen. En uh, iets wat de status van een icoon heeft, is überhaupt al iets wat de tijd overstijgen heeft. Dat materiële van het immateriële en daarmee spelen, dat, dat is een heel essentieel onderdeel van mijn werk. Dus om die iconen in brons af te gieten of in een galerie te zetten, ja, ik ben niet dat soort kunstenaar. Ik zit in een hele andere wereld. Om het in het ijs af te gieten, ten eerste wordt het dan veel immaterieeler en het wordt ook een veel fysieke ding. Want je, je kunt het opeten. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful, beautiful and other people. I brought for you here a special art piece. It's a one-time recreation of a piece called One Taste by the famous, and for some not so famous, but here's famous artist, Job Kuluweng. This is not the art piece. This is a theatrical way of opening a freezer. But for the art piece, I need five intelligent, young, aspiring people to come on stage and taste some art. Please, five young, maybe prearranged people, <laughs> this is your cue to stand up and come on stage. <laughs> Don't be shy, you are prearranged, so who gets? <laughs> come on stage, stand here, face the crowd, look aspiring. Okay, give them an applause, ladies and gentlemen. This is the art piece. It's ice cream. This is Gagarin. You get Gagarin. I'll give you Jesus. I'll give you Van Gogh. Van Gogh. I'll give you Buddha. And I'll give you Plato. You get nothing. Okay. <laughs> but you look great. You get an applause by going back. Damn. You can open it. You can open it. Now, the idea of the artist is that you open the paper, throw the paper on the floor, and start licking your icon. Als je aan een raket likt, zo'n ijsje, of je likt aan een dante, er zit toch een substantieel verschil in. Als je zeg maar, aan een icoon lukt, dan kan je er natuurlijk ook mee besmet raken. Je assimileert iets van die icoon, van die held. We hebben Plato, die staat symbool voor het denken. Dan hebben we Jezus, die staat symbool voor rebellie en christendom. Dan hebben we Boeddha als een tegenhanger. Dan hebben we Van Gogh als een icoon van, van de kunst, maar ook van authenticiteit en eigenlijkheid. En dan hebben we Gagarin, die eigenlijk... Ja, space, the final frontier, belichaamd. Kijk, dit is een groot gebaar. Dit is een, een suggestie. Het is poëzie. Je moet ook niet allemaal uh, te letterlijk nemen. Zo, so, nu een vraag, jonge man. Hoe does het taste to lick. Wat did je get? Plato. Plato, how does it taste? Well, I studied philosophy and. Uh, you did? Yeah, and. I can oh, tell how you, ironic. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you. This thing tastes a lot better than the thick books he wrote. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, how, how does it feel to, to be standing here licking an icon called Buddha? I feel pretty enlightened. You do? You do feel pretty enlightened? It works. You just had three licks and you already feel enlightened. Oh, I'm getting there. Yeah. Guess what happens if you had the whole thing in your mouth, you know? I'll be going. Okay. I'm standing with a microphone like this, but I'm, I'm wired at the same time, so whatever. Good. Um, tell me, you are licking who? Uh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. How many ear? Does he have one ear? Yeah, he only has one, one ear. Yeah, what, how, good, right? yeah, it tastes very good. Yeah. I got the blood from his ear now. So, how, how, what kind of flavor is it? For the artists who don't get ice creams, what kind of flavor is it? Yeah, it's hard to say. It's, it's pretty artistic, so... Artistic? Of course, it's an art piece. But what kind of flavor do you have? But it does feel light. It's not pretty heavy. Sometimes you taste something arctic you, you see it it's pretty deep intense but it's it's, it's accessible to everybody 
Yeah. That's how it feels. Yes. yes. Okay. I was going to do all five of them, but I think it's better that I explain to you. <laughs> Jeez, and Lyling. What you see here, ladies and gentlemen, is we at the big art show. You know, you can go to a museum and then you can watch the paintings hanging on the wall. Great, do, do so, please do so. But research showed that people take 11 seconds to look at a painting these days, that's it. In 11 seconds, you, you don't get a connection, you don't get a real experience. What we do at the big art show is try to give you experiences with art, through art, so that you might feel enlightened or that you might, might pass time in different uh, aspects. So that's why we asked Job Kulewein to bring us these beautiful art pieces called Ice Creams of Icons. And now I have a question just before you go to lunch. Who here would also like to taste one of these icons? Some, some, all right. Okay, cool, let's do that. Can we have some ice creams out of here, please? And some lights in the room? Yes? I need beautiful people to show them the ice creams. Okay, give an applause for our ice cream ladies. Okay, that's enough. They didn't get the ice creams to you yet, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, everybody gets an icon to taste art. So please go down. Everybody can taste some art. If you don't want it, give it to someone else. It's worth a lot of money, right? Please help the lady down, otherwise she falls. And it's, it's beautiful on YouTube. It's terrible in real life. There will be some of you who had no ice creams. It's pre-selected who doesn't get an ice cream. It's because of your background. Once you got the ice cream, you can go for lunch. Otherwise, we're really getting late today. So you, you just start licking. Just keep licking. Yeah. Everybody needs to be back in their seats I know. at 2:15. I know. I don't do anything. I mean, they can go if they want. You know. Okay. Everybody, enjoy your lunch. Make sure to be social. We'll see you back at 2:15. Thank you very much. <laughs>